started. So, so I'm going to disappear. Six and we can Thank both you for joining us. And then I'm going to start the webinar Hannah with Presley, the holding screen. I am yeah. curator, um, but uh, sorry, a curator so and member of the board here at Agency. So uh, thank you for tuning in tonight Great. for more of our Untold series. So I'm joining you tonight from my home, the place where I live and work here on Wurundjeri Country. Uh, and I'd like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri Woi Wurrung people of the East and Kulin and pay my respects to their elders past and present. It is an absolute privilege to live on their beautiful lands. And I'm more aware of this than ever after the glorious sunshine that we had today here in Melbourne. Uh, so Untold is a series of talks bringing Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander creatives together to talk, listen, and share their knowledge, experience, histories, culture, and ideas. This new series of online talks celebrates some of the winners of this year's Telstra National Indigenous Art Awards. It's a difficult time out there, so I hope with all of us in, or many of us in lockdown, I hope that this talk will be a lovely reprieve as we're joined with two extraordinary women who I'd like to introduce, uh, introduce to you now. So tonight we're joined by Kara Magtalo, a Kwandamuka artist with links to the Mardigan people of Kanamala. And she was also the winner of the Emerging Art Award at this year's Telstra's. Kyra's practice includes printmaking, ceramics and sculpture, employing local materials such as clay, feathers and talwalpan or cotton tree to share the stories of her culture and strengthen her connection to country. A recent graduate uh, from Queensland College of Arts Contemporary Australian Indigenous Art Program, Kyra was also a finalist at the 2021 uh, Emerging Churchy Art Prize. Congratulations, Kyra. That's super cool. Oh, thank so, you. <laughs> so tonight, Kyra will be speaking with newly curator and scholar Freya Carmichael, who belongs to the Kwandamooka people of Moreton Bay. Freya has worked alongside, alongside First Nations artists and communities over the past decade, both nationally and internationally, with a focus on First Nations communities, fibre practices and cultural exchange. Freya is currently undertaking a PhD at the University of Queensland, where she continues to work as an independent curator, arts writer and, um, and arts worker. So awesome lineup. Um, but before I hand it over, please keep in mind that you can type in a question during the talk into the Q&A chat box and I'll share them at the end. So thanks everyone for being here. I'm going to hand it over to Freya and Kyra and I'll see you at the end of the talk. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah, for your introduction. Um, I just realised it's six o'clock and everybody has jumped online all around me. So sorry if my internet goes a bit in and out. Um, but I, I am speaking on Yagura country and Truro country, and I would like to pay my respects to past and present custodians of where of this land where I live and work. And I would also like to acknowledge the country from where you are all tuning in. And I'd also like to pay my deep respects to my Kondamuka elders and ancestors. Um, it's such a pleasure to be yarning here with my Kondamuka cuz, Kyra. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there, are, there are three clan groups from, that make up Kondamuka, the Nunakul, the Gurumpul and the Nugi. And um, that's where we connect through the, the Nugi people. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Oh, um, I'd also like to pay respects to the Gurang Gurang and um, Turblang people um, currently in Bundaberg. And yeah, like pay my respects to the elders past, present, and emerging. And um, so, Kyra, this, we were just so proud of you for winning the Emerging Artist Award at this year's National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Art for your work, Moon Girl Bar. Um, I saw the news being shared so widely in the community at the University of Queensland, um, mm. by Kondamuka, Yuli Buliba, Aboriginal Corporation, and across our family and friends' social media. And we even had a joke this morning that it was broadcast on billboards and buses, the, the big go <laughs> by. But you, you do have your work on buses, hey, I see yeah, them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, one bus there. Yeah, I see that bus going up and down the 199 from um, West End to Tenerife all the time. Oh, okay. 
Hi everyone, my name is Kate Presley as, as always, and I'm a member of the board here at Agency. Thanks for joining us tonight. Really so my ancestors are from the Moyle River region in the Northern Territory and, and my family are Alice Springs Mob and I'm a curator here in Melbourne. So I'm joining you tonight from my home, the place where I live and work here on Wurundjeri country and I'd like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri and yeah, Moyle Wurrung people of the Eastern Kulin and pay my respects to their elders yeah, um, past and present. It is a privilege to live on their beautiful lands and I hope you're all keeping safe and well wherever you are across the country. Yeah. So Agency celebrates away. and promotes Indigenous <laughs> art, culture and people think, um, on a local, national yeah, a and international scale through the initiation and facilitation like, um, of ethical and sound um, investments into Indigenous-led projects and partnerships. Untold is a series of talks by inspiring and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people from diverse yeah, creative fields, tailored for audiences who are interested in the process yeah, of ideas that shape our surroundings and our experiences. About, um, Untold brings together in, people uh, to talk people and Maryland, listen um, and share their intangible yeah, yeah. capital, yeah. knowledge, experience, and, and histories, should, culture um, and ideas. We're, we're Tonight will be our final about, Untold talk yeah, that yeah, celebrates really some of the winners of the Natsias. And tonight we're joined by Kobe Edgar. Kobe is a Larrakia, Jingli, English, Filipino woman from the Northern Territory and is currently the curator of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art at the Art Gallery of New South. Wales. Uh, she will be speaking with Hubert Paralucha, who is a senior West Aranda and Lurritcher man who lives in his homeland outstation or on his homelands on the outstation west of Hermansburg in Dari. Uh, Hubert has been painting lan landscape watercolours since he was a young boy, following in the footsteps of his father uh, Reuben Paralucha and his uncles Otto and Edwin Paralucha. Reuben, Otto and Edwin were all part of the original Hermansburg school of watercolour and we're all yeah, a, a a acclaimed artists so he comes from quite a family. Yeah. Hubert paints yeah, no, many exactly. of the same locations um, that Namajira and the Paralucha brothers painted in particular around Hermansburg, home, Mount Sonder like and said, the James um, Range ranges. Um, so Hubert lives and works and, um, in the Western McDonald Ranges to this day it's, it's so and will also be joined by the wonderful Mervyn Rabuncha. Mervyn was born so, at the Telegraph um, Station in Alice yeah, Springs. Really His um, um, mother, Cynthia Kamara Obcha, um, uh, was a Western um, Aranda woman and, really, and his father um, was the yeah, late Mr Wenton Rabuncha Penga, a famous painter. And Mervyn has followed in his father's footsteps, painting in the watercolour well. style yeah. that his yeah, father so taught this, him. This was, um, Earlier in the week, by, um, Kobe um, Edgar and um, uh, the curator at and, yeah, just, <laughs> at the uh, Art Gallery of New South Wales sat down with artists Hubert, Hubert and Mervyn yeah. at in Ilcha yeah. Injara yeah. Many yeah. Hands Art yeah. Centre to yeah. talk yeah. about their award-winning work. Although this conversation was place. recorded ahead of time, um, if you have any questions, please put them in the Q&A on the side and the team from Agency will get back to you with some responses. Um, so together, yeah. Hubert and yeah, Mervyn um, have created well, first, an immersive work the titled Bob, Through the Veil of Time, and, you which know, brings together uh, their unique get, styles get in the Hermansburg watercolour tradition. You know, talk about, um, Though this style of painting and, you know, is from a Western Arctic tradition, Eagle, through um, this Vindura work we are reminded of the deep um, cultural yeah, and, and spiritual to connections to country and the unique knowledge that these two men hold of their Western Aranda landscape. And so yeah, I so, hope you enjoy so hearing from these two old chilpies as much as me, and I'll see you after the Maybe talk. Maybe we'll even talk about how you, you mm. came to making those uniforms. You actually sewed them together and in that research behind the uniforms. Yeah, so I um, started with a lot of research. Hi, and what I, how what are what you? I found is yeah. from 1896, it was a big change. For, All right. Um, the Congratulations the on winning to act to more Congratulations on winning that and one other, Jamarica um, Memorial Prize. Kind of well. Um and we're just gonna do a little bit of a talk today. But for the people who don't are, know you, um you know, do you want to introduce yourself? Identity to them. Yeah, and, right. um, what yeah, is so I had to go through you? all these old images and there was um, born a really in there that really I'll showed the out. uniforms and also yeah, the document oh, yeah. that how these uniforms oh, look and how it was one size for oh, all oh, and um so yeah going through these archives and just trying to figure out a pattern um to I'm, I'm around, around and, around um, man. um yeah identity the to how they were yeah and and what were the um, ancient Aranda land to when you were creating them 
Yeah, so um, the material I use to create them is tarlatan, yeah. and it's kind of like a cheesecloth. Um, for all you pig makers out there, they know what tarlatan is. Uh, traditionally, it's used to take away colour of um, an etching plate. So I wanted to use a metaphor of that attempted simulation, and you know that rubbing a back culture of yeah, um, so it, 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 I really use it as a metaphor to um, represent, yeah, that attempt of assimilation. You came to working with that. Yeah, yeah. Does anyone discover this natural process of discovering and and seeing that metaphor? And yeah, well, that's it. it. I was actually rubbing um, colour on the end, you know. It's kind of all together. Yeah. So that's what I thought about straight away. Um, you can yeah, yeah, so significant from there. So, I created, so, uh, my research and created this part of work. Learn from me. And then so when you, um, you etch to use the uniforms talk, to create the by etchings, him. it's just amazing how every detail Painting. has been picked up, the, the loose fibres and... It's just or not a single line is, is missed in your prints. Yeah, I yeah. So, um, yeah, well, that's the amazing thing with it. Um, it was able to capture every single part right. of the uniform. How long have you been painting every for? Every single detail. Um, I've been painting every day. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't assume. I didn't find that really. I wouldn't assume that I was as well with the. The dilly bag that's that's featured in with the uniform. Came back and all of the bags. Weaving um, oh, is such so a, a, a special practice on back. the Muka. Oh, no we're really proud of oh, today. I can do it, okay? Become a really strong part of our contemporary expression of being Kwanda Muka people. And, um, and how about you, Huma? Do you want to yeah, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes. The, the uniforms that speak of such a, a dark. My name's Huma Barrel Jarrett. And, and, and I'm from Melbourne. And yeah, broken down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's really I really want to put that. Um, and I'm here working on it. Many hands. It was important to put back and, uh, these, I was um, by my you know, these, these cultures and these traditions back bank. into the print and really have that representation. When I was around about 12, 12 years old. And, um, and did some of your other I was just um, watching with him and uh, as well. And his was from um, baby and uh, we recently worked together on the Carrier's Museum of Brisbane. Um, which so when I go out to the store, a bit, well, show? Yeah. sometimes it's yeah, cold and out. Um, the Dilly Bag Prince. When I go a holiday to my grandpa's career, the hand is thrown on it. This tub walk and string. Tub walk or something like that. That's such a significant um, practice, too, from. On a. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but anyway, you know, I, used to, bag, I really wanted to talk about you know, that adaptation. Um, all of us might have to go through, on, uh, especially for the back. On, uh, um, and I know, like, my grandmother, um, and you know, she birds, she created these, these, these dilly bags, um, using, not using traditional fibres, but and, uh, still the image crate dilly bags, and, um, for these prints to represent that, but at the application of contemporary horses, materials, but also, um, but, but and, but, um, you know, bringing back about that, those traditional fibres, so, yeah, water, it's like, in old days, it was real hard no, work. My um, internet keeps wavering in, in and out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you water, just on that peak time. Was in the but, um, I really love how there's such a um, strong tribal language coming from Kamuka as well. In the east, I started bathing. The yeah, to walk uh, Yeah, at a special shop. Swamp read unge. And now the couple of years. Yeah, no, exactly. And the house is bad. It's amazing. Like, like, um, yeah, I'm and Lucy, um, you know, them being able to do traditional and, you know, away from these weaving practices, it's it's amazing, especially and winning big awards too. You've won that big, big one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you you mentioned earlier this morning? You know, I said it started. The yeah. in the Telstras and, and for being on billboards, no, <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that you've actually that was a long time ago. Um, you two yeah. won that, you, you two won that award for the Nazis, um, that yeah, really big work. 
people who um, also... Do you want to tell us a little bit about the site that you um, painted yeah, I mean, and why it's important to both yeah, of you? We actually had um, a man reach out to me and um, he, he told me yeah. that the real big one on sale. Yeah, she was called... It was really hard work. Hey. And, um, yeah, so, um, um, we connected um, with the local down. He came to the studio it was really and I showed him it was some, huge. Of my, some of my work. Yeah, um, talking about Mungala. Yeah. And, you know, it was amazing to hear his story. I was working on that for a couple of weeks. Um, you know, his great grandmother and his grandmother. What sign through. is that that you and, painted um, though? Yeah, right now we're just going to process he's sharing more information with me. Um, yeah, yeah but, you know, it, it's amazing that, that he reached out and My country, you know, that's that's able to make that connection. Yeah. What's the country? What country? What's the 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 and, um, My father told me from painting on the alongside wall, screen just a, and with some McDonald's. And we talked a bit about fiber and and, and I like it because but, um, it's you're just uh, working uh, in clay and works too. I feel good cool at yeah. when I do my career. <laughs> No, yeah, um, I love ceramic work. Um, yeah. I think it's that. That you guys usually gold, paint um, really tiny ones. How come both of you? I know that you both have story. been painting um, massive. Yeah, I, I love the lately. And, How come um, you've chosen to do to that? Involve weaving because it takes and, um, longer together, and it's yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah once again, tell a story and let um, it all together. Right? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Painting, yeah. Yeah. And the eyes, the ones you're telling. Guys, it's easier for your eyes. Yeah, really I've got problems with my eyes. It just kind of comes yeah. quite inherently to. I got just all the. Yeah, no, um, I can't understand. Um, I don't think I you've got a problem with your like eyes. Look at the video. I think it's beautiful better. work. Um, Mervyn, how come you've been painting I bigger now? I felt print it was an amazing. You've been amazing painting bigger scale as well. You usually paint and, tiny um, ones. You know, yeah. doing, um, again, yeah. going to the history, um, the yeah. ceramics, you yeah. can tell another story. Um, First of all, I've had work for one of the and uh, uh, yeah, involving clay and fibers. Um, yeah, it told it tell my story um, that through that medium. Plus, I know, speak. And we, um, I'm, I'm thinking back to um, late yeah. last year. Um, when we had such yeah. a, a beautiful day screen printing at the um, yeah, the first of all, um, university uh, studios uh, at the okay. Contemporary Indigenous Australian uh, Arts School. Uh, and uh, and uh, I think that was uh, myself, uh, you uh, and um, Lisi for the uh, festival project. Uh, you did and, the big skirt, yeah, showing you? Us who, uh, yeah. Master, <laughs> Lady master skirt. Yeah. Yeah. Showing, us, showing us how it was done. And, and, it, and now and you've done you know, the Venus silks student, and but, um, like yeah, different fabrics. Um, it's still nice to I paint really on, or is it difficult? Visiting the studio it's space, and, and that yeah. day, um, Dylan. Was what makes it different from the paper? Does it like bleed more or something? I've never painted on silk. It's just a lovely space for sharing. I know I was trying my best. Of, of that space to such a yeah, sense work. of community. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, it's just thinking well, about that as a as a graduate. I really um, love those so skirts. I think they're beautiful. How um you both have very different styles of painting you. though, Hubert. You um, you like very like more oh, fake I'll colours, say, um, very detailed. Um, you know, just yeah. being like you very, said, very very detailed. Um, Whereas Mervyn, he's bold. He's got really bold colours, really, really thick lines with his work. How come you two work together for this big collaborative um, one? Yeah, well, we, it's, it's my favourite thing. Um, so yeah. currently doing honours, and so I'm still at the base of my friends and friends and friends to share my work. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, you can try style and I can do mine. <laughs> um, but yeah, Kai, Kai is in the main space and QCA, yeah. and um, with amazing yeah. videos yeah. and facilities. How did you decide to, to do, who was going to do which piece um, then? Again. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and a so lot of all, all, all our graduates have come from there 
Oh yeah. <laughs> but I can see in that painting which ones yeah. you've done, and, um, Mervyn, so and which parts you've you done, Gilbert, you because you're so different with yeah, your style. Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah, tell yeah, the um, other where you're going to paint, or did you have with, a discussion um, first? Uh, I think and, I have um, really a little. I refine a lot of the language, especially like I said, reaching out to the senders. You know, they're telling me information. It is different. I really like it. Seeing those very different styles of bringing that all together, like that that school of painting. Um, yeah. Speaking so of which, um, the Namajira um, style of painting, it's, it's, it's it has such a long legacy and it's so popular with everyone around Australia, around the world. It's famous and yeah, do, you, yeah. do you guys um, know what you're yeah, going like to do I in said, the future? Do you have any um, ambitions for the work and having that research to back it up? And, um, have you got big projects coming up? Um, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's full of it's, it's amazing. I don't know. And I feel like I'm going to have a really big one. Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. just doing yeah. bigger ones? And, that, and are, you be for the are you doing bigger really ones just, just to show off? Amazing. Or how come you're doing them so yeah, big? Yeah, yeah. Um, just because you're deadly painters? Um, it's a huge work on it. Yeah, just the. Just uh, <laughs> we'll have to look very out, practical. Keep, keep that <laughs> end of the year. <laughs> yeah, right. Touch wood. I got yeah. so but it, but it's it's a it's all going one. well. That that process of, of taking from being graduating and then you can't really do big ones on paper. And it allows that time to think more deeply. Did you travel up to see that work in the Nazis oh, yeah, at all? You too? Um, yeah, or I did you stay in Hammersburg or in other springs? Imperfectly. Now people hold the scorn bar. We need to go. Um, We're going to go anyway. Go to I know you're Coral tuning bars. in from um, from Bundaberg. It's cute to hear from you traveling. Doing. We just had a question come through as well asking. What are you working on now, Hugh? Um, you but you're painting just before, weren't you? Well, right yeah, now, it's at um, um, the yeah. Bundaberg Regional Gallery. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been here up here for a week. The same um, one. I've been cruising around with the traditional owner. I'm still on site. We've been taking me to, um, you know, some. And is that what site's that one or can you tell us? And I've been able to go uh, down to the um, <laughs> other community. Um, sure, also to this house. I hire me. As well as indigenous. And um, yeah, I get to it's create work you. based on how uh, I feel and the response to it. Um, and, um, and so how long are you up in, in this residency? Um, I leave tomorrow, unfortunately, but um, I've been I don't know if we can walk through the gallery. Is that allowed? I can, um, bring back work and once again yarn. And picture, uh, yeah. Oh, great. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Aside from the, the honours yeah. and um, you know, doing this residency, what other exciting projects yeah. in the pathway? <laughs> I don't know. Just, um, yeah, not for you. Oh, churchy really? churchy is coming up soon. Coming? Um, at the IMA. Oh, yes. We haven't, we haven't talked reveal. about that. Big reveal. Somebody. Yeah. Really <laughs> <didn't>. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that came out yeah. around the same that's time huge. as your um, the yeah. Telstra. Yeah. 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 I can see. Yeah, yeah. so that's, yeah. that's yeah. really hard yeah. to miss. The Churchy yeah. and oh. the Whoa. Institute of Modern Art. Yeah. And when is that yeah, going? Yeah, so exciting. Um, yeah, so that's actually, I'm pretty sure... I don't know the exact date, but I know everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that'll be a whole new body of work once again. So it's, yeah. That's a nicer it's background. You should have had that there the whole tour. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it will all be yeah. 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 Um, It is taller than you. It's taller than you and your hat. I love yeah. textiles, so... Yeah, and we're going to make a different concept through textiles. Yeah. Yeah. Are you working and, on anything um, that big, Mervyn? I think another question oh, is paper. I mean, paper. Yeah. Um, around um, workshops. Um, what side is that, Hubert? Your art practice as well, Kyra. Where's um, that? Pe where's the hills? Where's so, the McDonald's? Um, helpful when we were doing that day of screen printing. Anything, <laughs> anything special about that place? They do work yeah. to be on cool and... Uh, I recently it's done um, for, um, a printmaking workshop with an art uh, gallery. Um, um, I've probably done workshops before. That's um, why we like that one with um, the one over cool the tree was probably one of my first ones. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> we're not like um, to other. Yeah, no, I love, I love working and doing, you know, working. having that yarn while doing sharing. From going yeah. to somebody else's yeah, place. Um, I'm really somebody else's place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but your place is so beautiful anyway. Why would you want to paint anyone else's? such a 
A busy um, year. We're not allowed to. Yeah. And you wouldn't so want it anyway. You're, you've got the most okay. beautiful country. Yeah. 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 yeah that's, that's a lot great. darker um, than your usual painting. But, uh, your uh, painting is a lot of Bundaberg. I that was Mongalba. Um, on canvas? So that showed the, um, on the canvas. Ones, the, like, uh, do you like painting with acrylic or do you prefer as well as, um, the variation of the and the yeah. ceramics as well. So yeah, it was Both all are right. yeah. <laughs> How come you paint with like darker colours with the acrylic yeah. though instead of the watercolour? Oh, yeah, so like, no, just the you, There's usually more um, pinks yeah, and lighter yellows and stuff. This one's really... just <laughs> yeah, I'm very proud of what you're doing. Yeah, um, a lot of amazing yeah, work. Well. It's a very exciting future. Again, just so, practical, practical. Yeah, man. nice. Yeah. Um, it's been great. Um, that looks you know, more like Mervyn's colours when he paints the watercolour. Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel great. So great being able to continue great. my work and keep sharing it. That's nice. I yeah. like that one. Yeah. Oh. Where's that um, going? I'll Is that for someone or somewhere? Um, or are you just painting it because you want to? Um, yes, just one. You just want to? I had a question yes. about... Experimenting. Um, yeah. have, you have you thought about painting on anything else range. besides silks and um, canvas? I really love your textiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, never actually. Yeah, but anything else? Something um, strange? I, I don't know. Oh, oh, so so cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> did, 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 you, did you hand sew the uniforms or did you and, uh, uh, on that silk, it was hard yeah. um, So I work with a lady it called Sophia Pisa. She's an amazing um, so color, it was the first time so, to paint on She helped me create um, the installation mm -hmm. work. So, so it's not your favorite you know, medium, but you can kind of see me through it, aren't you? Yeah. Know, making so you yeah, see through the silk, yeah, which is kind of nice. I, know I like how the that. The would actually look a eh? <laughs> probably a lot more threads. It's a bit yeah, like, I, 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 um, they all did inspire me. Um, and they all yes, do we did, yeah. work and practices. Did you, but, what did you do? You know, did you put it in the last week? Like generation of oh, last week? Before yeah. us now. I'm not up there. Um, you know, really I'm usually up there for Desert Mob. And, um, I'm missing going to Desert Mob. Can you tell yeah. me any inside uh, gods? Did you see any good artworks? Artists. Um, oh, you know, not um, people, I especially look up to them and always reference them throughout all my work. On the wall, outside and inside. A lot of people. Yeah, definitely. I'm just sure we were the biggest oh, show you've I ever had. Like I've just, yeah. um, been at, for you for half Was it good hour, to see everyone just, that was there? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I guess yeah. it's been a long time since Corona yeah. has come um, and you can't gather yeah, and just, see everyone. And oh, yes. um, Desert Mob's always special because you can see lots journey, of people, hey, that you haven't seen all year. Right. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's yeah, been an exciting day, um, uh, especially now that I'm represented by Gary and Sydney, um, allowing my, my story to be told in Sydney as well, and having that travel down.